Before my wife turned vegetarian, I'd always thought of her as completely unremarkable in every way. To be frank, the first time I met her, I wasn't even attracted to her. Those are the first words in The Vegetarian by Hong Hong. This is by a uh, South Korean author. This is what she looks like. And she's actually uh, quite interesting. She studied Korean literature. She's won some awards. Um, and she teaches creative writing at the Seoul Institute of the Arts. And this is also translated by Deborah Smith. And she's done um, her other book, Human Acts. So, this also won the Man Booker International Prize in 2016. I didn't know that, <laughs> but there you go. So what is this book about? It is about this woman that has a dream, and then she decides to go vegetarian. This is seen as a bit taboo. I don't know if it's because I assumed it was Korean culture because of the author, or if it's just a made-up world, but the culture is very and the society is very much against vegetarianism and veganism and all that sort of thing. So the family becomes very concerned for her and it's a story about as she becomes more of a vegetarian, her mental state suffers as well and changes. I thought the writing was very short and on point. Um, it leads you to think that it might be a bit boring because it's uh, very upfront. But it isn't. It tells you like it is, and the story just keeps chugging along. It's told from three point of views. We have the main character's husband, uh, the main character's brother-in-law, and her sister. And each little mini story, mini point of view, has very similar themes attached to it uh, for the overall themes of the book. And some of the themes that I found were about, well, madness, uh, sexuality, sensuality, artistic freedom, personal freedom, uh, mental urges, whether they be becoming vegetarian or trying to do some sort of act, uh, living out a fantasy, blurring the lines between what is real and what is not. It's very surreal. There's a lot of tension. And there's also a commentary on societal expectations. You could say that she's standing up against the patriarchy of South Korea, blah blah blah, but I think this book is more about a case study of a woman that just loses her mind. And I don't think it's anything more than that. I thought it was a very interesting read. It was a very quick read. It's short. Um, I think it's like 180-ish pages. Yeah, 183 pages. And it's just an interesting book. Um, it's not for everybody though. It's a little bit Murakami-esque, I found. And if you are if you don't like sexuality, um, then you might find not like this book because food and sex are very much intertwined, I found. Um, other than that, I think it's a very interesting book and you should give it a try if you like um, a little bit of magical realism, even though there's not in it. It just kind of feels, has that vibe. Um, yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what you thought of it. I really liked it. I gave it four stars and that is The Vegetarian by Hong Kong. Thanks for watching.